So um, I was asked how I deal with uh, oily skin and like breakouts and stuff like that um, because I'm managing my oily skin and, and zits and stuff pretty pretty well thanks to my my dad who uh, has been using my face as a uh, an experiment pretty much. Um, because he, when he was a teenager, he had really bad acne and really oily skin, and he still has extremely oily skin and hair, and so do my brother and I, and we always have, so uh, we've been, uh, we're used to it, and um, we found some ways to, that, that uh, control it as much as possible, and I know that a lot of people, when they start testosterone, their skin just, like, completely changes. My skin has not gotten a lot oilier, because it was already really oily. Um, but I definitely have more acne than I used to. Um, so basically some things that have helped me, uh, would be, I guess, um, just on a daily basis. These are like literally like dollar store face wipes. Um, that's not something that you want to use like as your primary cleaning, uh, source, but if I'm like, if I'm just sitting around my room and I feel that my face is really oily, but I've already, you know, washed my face or done whatever, um, and I feel like just getting rid of that oil, then I'll just quickly wipe down my face with one of the face wipes and it's fine. Um, but on a daily basis, um, my dad bought me this like super strong soap. It's from the Bulk Barn, but Bulk Barn is a Canadian company. I don't know where... Uh, if you live, if you don't live in Canada, I don't know where you, it says the soap works on it. I don't know if that's a company or whatever, but you can probably find these weird, like, soaps at some sort of, like, uh, store that sells, um, like, body products. Uh, it smells like an electrical burning wire. It's gross, but, um... <laughs> but it works because it completely cleans your face. Um, so I wash, or you can just use regular soap if, if that's what you want, but um, I need something a little bit stronger. Um, I wash my face with just that in a, in a washcloth every day. Um, for my neck and my shoulders, because I just have oily skin everywhere, uh, my neck and my shoulders, I just use uh, rubbing alcohol and these, I don't have any face pad things right now, but they're like little circular, uh, cloth pad things and you just I just rub the rubbing alcohol on my neck and my shoulders because it completely dries out your skin and uh so that's pretty good um I wouldn't recommend doing that on open sores or anything like that so uh that's why I usually don't do it on my face um and then the main thing that I do is I have it's dry right now but every weekend Saturday and Sunday I have this bowl of clay and it's literally just clay that my dad bought for a project that he was doing. And you put it on your face and you spread it um, like a clay mask. You can buy clay masks, but they're more expensive than buying like a slab of clay and using that. So uh, um, you just spread it on your face like a, like a mask or in the places that are the most oily. So for me, it'd be my chin uh, right here, my nose and my forehead. Um, and you keep it on for about half an hour and then you wipe it off with a face cloth comes off really easily and your skin is dried out and then the minerals from the clay um also you know keep your skin healthy and stuff so that's pretty much all I do uh the clay works the best but I don't really want to do it every day because it it's a long process and I have to take my I have to keep my glasses off the entire time so it's it's a hassle to do on weekdays when I have homework and stuff so I only do it on weekends um but that's the kind of things that I do and I keep and it keeps my skin fairly healthy and dry, um, and not like slick and gross. <laughs> um, and it keeps the acne down. So I hope that helps some, someone out there. Uh, so thanks for watching guys. See ya.